Well, Jamie, a terrific day for you all round with the bat and the ball. Let's start with the bat, first of all. Um, coming in as night watchman, you batted for over an hour. By the time you left the crease, we were already in front. And uh, look, partnership with Adam Wee to prove so defining there, didn't it? Yeah, I think, obviously, you know, the... Uh, I was very wary of, of kind of getting past them. Um, honestly, I thought it would be a good effort for me to still be there when we got past them. But, you know, thankfully, um, the barrage of short stuff kind of made it a bit easier for me because you know, I was prepared to let it hit me and it wasn't going to get me out, I didn't feel so. I was able to kind of help me hang around. And but you love your batting anyway, don't you? Most of <laughs> But it was help, we were helped a little bit by those extras, weren't we? I mean, that must have put you and Weeks in, in, in good heart anyway. Yeah, that was obviously a lovely start to the uh, start to the innings, or start to the day even. Um, that got kind of a bit of momentum going, and they yeah, we were able to go all right together. Yeah. And then the role that you're more used to, to playing anyway, taking wickets. Uh, four wickets has really given Essex the initiative and a particular spell from you, I think three for nine in 21 balls. Um, retrieved it for us because, as I say, uh, Tom Lamb and Beer batted well and uh, given Somerset a, a good hope for the, in the game, hadn't they? Yeah, um, obviously they got off to a great start. The two openers for them batted beautifully and um, Tom Lamb, that was a brilliant knock. Um, but yeah, I think you know the credit to us. Uh, we came out after tea and that period just before tea, when we were able to claw it back and and pick up some wickets and kind of swing the momentum back in our favour. Bowling from the nursery end, you were really steaming in there with menace. Was that partly cold as well? <laughs> yeah, I think I had to steam in to get the body moving. <laughs> uh, but it was it was hard work you know, for everybody, fielders. I mean, it's uh, cold enough sitting in the box watching. Uh, what what is it like out there? It's been b bitterly cold, increasingly yeah, by the day. I mean, you don't really notice it when you're bowling because you kind of your blood gets going and whatever. But um, yeah, the, I mean, there's a quite a strong breeze across the ground as well. That really gets you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, any particular preference from bowling that? Because you started off at the pavilion end, didn't you? Uh, first yeah. of all, um, not particularly. I feel like um, I'm happy to bowl either end. I do probably feel like this end, the pavilion end, suits me more. Um, but equally, I was able to find a bit from the nursery end. Today. Yeah. Any brother, one of those particular four wickets that gave you particular satisfaction, Jamie? Uh, I suppose. I suppose Byram, I mean, after his first innings performance, yeah, getting him cheap, then Tom Abel, uh, I mean, and then Barton. I, I well. enjoyed the uh, Gregory one just because of the catch. The catch was <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, indeed. So, I mean, what's the, the mood in the dressing room from, from here? I mean, still got work to do, haven't we? We're there, what, 190 on. But uh, no, still, still plenty of hard work for Essex if we are to emerge as winners in this. Yeah, yeah, obviously it's not going to be an easy chase tomorrow. But, um, well, first thing is get three wickets. But, you know, whatever they set us won't be easy. They're, they've got quality bowling attack. But, um, you know, I think if we go about it the way we, we would usually go about it, um, yeah, hopefully it will swing in our favour.